art magic. Hey, uh, focus without doubt. A. A. It's focus without doubt, right? So a lot of people like to say, oh, you're so talented. And I'm like, oh, thank you very much. No, sometimes I don't even say anything. Uh, and I'm like, oh, yes, talent. But what is talent? What is that? What is that? You know, because the first time you, like, try something and you're good at it, you know, you're not always good at it, right? So what is talent? What is that? Ding! Message! What is talent? What the heck? What is it? I mean, people are like, oh, you're just born with that? you just, oh, yeah, I just woke up one day when I was, like, two years old, and I was, like, a good artist. I'm just talented. It just comes natural, right? No. Uh-uh. Usually takes years of work to get to a certain point, right? It takes, it takes like, someone playing music practice to get to, like, a good point in that practice to where they can, like, bust out some shit. But if you think about it, it's 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 just the first time you tried that thing. I mean, this may not be true for everyone. This is just what I'm my perception. The first time you tried that thing, you did it without doubt that you could do it. You know what I mean? You weren't like, I can't even draw a stick figure. No, you didn't say that. You were like, I got this. I got this. It was just confidence. And you were like focused without doubt. And that's what I mean. Focus without doubt. So if you just approach everything like that, like a child, like I don't, nobody told me there was, I couldn't do this. You know, you just do it. You're like, I got it. And that's where it all starts. And that's the first time you did something good. And and you were just like, oh my God, I got to keep doing this. I'm good at it. I can do this, I guess. You know, it's because you did it without doubting yourself and you were just like, hell yeah, I got this shit. <laughs> I can, I can paint. Sure. Yeah. Why not? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try it and see what happens and have fun and voila, you know, but if you're like, I don't know what to paint and I can't, I can't, I don't even know how and someone show me, you know, like if you're into discovering and you just like go for it and you're like, Hey, let's see what happens. Let me mess up. I don't get, you know. Don't worry if you're going to mess up or not. Just go for it. And if if you do that without thinking twice, you're just focused without doubt. And, you know, doing art is focus. You're focused on the tip of your brush or tip of your pencil. It's focus. So, yeah, um, there you go. What are you, what are you doubting yourself about? If you're confident and you just approach things without doubt, hell, yeah, you're going to fuck up. <laughs> but guess what? you might not and then doing that you might impress your friends and they're gonna be like whoa dude and then you're like yeah i know right and then you're gonna do it again and then maybe you won't impress your friends maybe you impress your parents maybe you impress your pets i don't know maybe you won't just impress yourself (laughs) why are you doing art are you just trying to impress people you know whatever you're doing art for just do it without thinking you can't do it you know as soon as like every single time i conquered some hurdle like hands or faces or any part of figuring out how to draw stuff and paint stuff um as soon as i told myself i'm gonna do this i'm this is my challenge i'm gonna figure this out i'm gonna i I can paint faces i can paint hands as soon as i told myself that i got better i progressed but until i was like uh you know like there was so long there where i was like i wouldn't even use a reference photo (laughs) i was just like against it like it was some kind of art puritist message there's your other message you know it's like it's, no use the tools for thousands of years artists have been using reference pictures and photos and still life and all this stuff and there's tools out there shit project it you know that's what people do but you know eventually you won't have to use those tools they're just tools you know you can work your way around you know if you use a reference photo on a face so many times eventually you're not going to have to <laughs> like especially if it's your own face if you've painted a face a specific face so many times you don't need a reference photo you know that's a that's that's an interesting other topic is repeating yourself while doing art because you can learn a lot from repeating yourself you know if take something you do all the time that you're good at and just do it again do it again and 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 watch it develop and watch new things happen you're like i'm gonna try this this time like that's the best way to like explore and learn stuff is just by doing something again because it might feel boring at first but like don't like don't limit yourself to exactly the same thing you know just do like a tree again 
you know, or something, same subject matter. And you watch how like different and more experimental you'll get and you'll try new things and you'll try, you, it'll, it'll just grow. It'll turn into a new thing and you'll have a whole new style of painting that tree or something, or you'll begin to develop a, your own technique to do it faster or something. You know, I think when we run out of ideas, it's really good, which never happens. It's really good to just practice stuff. And that I, I practice when I don't know what I'm doing when I'm kind of like, uh, I just need to paint, but I don't know what the heck I'm doing right now. Just practice, just do stuff. You know, when you're unfocused, practice. And it'll bring you back to focus. It's just like playing a guitar. You gotta practice scales a little bit and get warmed up. Like a lot of times in the morning, I'll just draw a bunch of pictures, just random stuff. Just a bunch of faces, sketch out a bunch of stuff really quick, and then I'm like, warmed up I'm in the mood I'm like all right let's go and then I'm like okay what do I want to work on now you just gotta like get in the mood you gotta figure out how you're good you get in the mood and do it <laughs> and it sometimes it changes sometimes it takes you know going live because when you go live you're held accountable right people are watching and you're they're like well, oh look what he's working on now oh look it progressed you know so you could use that as as a means to continue working on stuff <clears throat> this is just what I'm working on right now is just some random <laughs> painting I was just trying something out something different than a portrait I wanted to paint a tree but it turned into this but I think I think everybody just you know it's you can go to school and you can get trained on how to do certain techniques and stuff but like are you using that you know are you are you doing it every day are you focused on it oh message <laughs> message are you doing it? You know, because because I think when it comes down to it, are you a lazy artist or are you a productive artist? You know, and there is no starving artist. There's only a working artist. So I think it's it's good to be passionate about stuff. And if you can just be passionate about learning and exploring and trying new stuff and trying different medias, then like art never ends art is like the best focus point for all of it because it never ends there's so much to do pastels and paints and you know oh my god there's so many art supplies out there you can just hoard them forever <laughs> and just make make things and it'll and it'll keep you out of trouble so there you go focus without doubt just approach it without doubting that you can do it just just say hey I'm gonna do this just get behind yourself and do it all right there you go that's the stuff don't forget to follow me on twitch if you don't already follow me on twitch oh yeah and YouTube I got a bunch of stuff over there you should follow me on YouTube there's like videos of music and uh, there's like me talking about stuff like this over there, about how we're all wizards and creators of art and the world that we live in. Everything that happens to us, we just, we can create that. Set the tone. <laughs>